the best of high school sports is right here. Live from Studio A in Yuma, Arizona. Friday Night Lights starts right now. Welcome to a brand spanking new season of Friday Night Lights. I'm Rob Bram, and speaking of brand new, Cole Johnson is my new co-anchor to the program. Cole, welcome aboard. Thank you so much, Rob. Great to be here. I mean, I'm so excited to get started. I love football. I mean, best sport ever. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It's easy to get jacked up for a sport like this, Absolutely. and we're going to be doing this for the next few months at the very least. So Yeah, Friday Night Lights, nothing mm -hmm. better than that. But we begin with two rebuilding Imperial Valley teams that each want to get off to a fast start to their respective seasons. Both the Holtville Vikings and the Southwest Eagles have lineups infused with young talent chomping at the bit to establish themselves. So we bring you the season opening marquee matchup as the Vikings paint a visit to the Eagles as we take you out to Southwest High School's both programs ready to rumble. Holtville's first possession quarterback Spencer Hilficker hands it off to Seth Eiton gashing up for a seven yard pickup. The rushing attack would break open early for the Vikes. Eiton Gets the handoff again, gets some key blocks on the wing, and he's turned loose in the open field. The defense isn't going to catch him as he takes it to the end zone on a 60-yard scoring play. Vikings drawing first blood, and they would stay aggressive. Going for two, Peyton Eiton gets the ball, flipped him, and he gets in easily. Eight to nothing, Holtville making a statement early. So we go to the second Southwest possession. Quarterback Logan Youngers rolls to his right, Throws a nice sideline pass to Esteban McDonough, and he powers his way for a 35-yard passing play. Then Youngers wouldn't just use his arm on this drive. He would use his feet as he runs to his left, and he's going to beat not one, but two defenders to the sideline, getting the ball inside the 10-yard line southwest in business. A couple plays later, off the misdirection, McDonough gets the call again, getting his way inside the three-yard line, the first quarter would expire, but the first play of the second quarter off the power eye formation. The Eagles drawing the play from the 85 Bears as they give the rock to Big Seneca Haynes. And he bulldozes his way through the Viking defenders as you just saw. The first touchdown of the season for the Eagles. This game would go back and forth, but in the end, the Vikings would come up clutch as they get the 36-29 victory. Pretty good stuff there, Rob. Well, we stay in, in the city of El Centro, where the Central Spartans have ascended as the aerial power to beat the in the Imperial Valley, coming off three consecutive Imperial Valley League crowns and four straight Bell Game rivalry victories. That's quite a resume. As talented as the Spartans are, they still have a few holes to fill, especially in the trenches, starting a new defensive line unit almost from scratch. But brand new starting quarterback will also will have quite a few experienced play making offensive weapons to help keep Central's explosive offense clicking. So we are going the question is, would they be clicking against a tough Mount Carmel team in their season home opener? We take you to Kale Jones Field to find out. And to Kale Jones Field as we go. The Spartans take the field. Big change from last year with a packed house, including Jordan Reed, who's now playing for Montana State. First drive of the game, Mount Carmel quarterback Cadent Gent with a swing pass to Jaden Virgin. And Virgin is spun by the Spartans. Defense loses the ball, and the Spartans come up with the fumble recovery, courtesy of number 68, Nicholas Jimenez, who politely gives the ball to the referee, and the big fella struts his stuff. Later on, Holtville transfer Damian Rodriguez gets the nod at quarterback, and he would be he would here for the Spartans. First drive, zings a nice pass as Sergio Garcia goes up and gets it. Bust a few tackles on his way to a first down. Moments later, it's fourth and short. The Spartans go for it. Give it to Charlie Sullivan. He looks short. They bring the change out and measure the Sun Devils. Stand firm with the hold to get the ball back. Big play there on the defensive side. We go late in the first quarter. Mount Carmel on the move. Check this trick play out as Caden Gent tosses the ball back to Josh Bell. And Bell is hurried, still gets it off. The halfback pass comes to fruition, finds Luke Sevier for a first down. A few plays later, Gent, the quarterback keeper, around the right side, and he's going to take this one in for the Sun Devils. To get them on the board, they would have the extra point blocked. But next, the Spartans drive near the end of the first quarter. Rodriguez hands off to Sullivan, and he breaks it loose around the left end for a first down run. Moments later, Rodriguez shows off his wheels. He rolls to the right. Picking up a big game before it popped out of bounds. However, it would not be the Spartans' night as they lose at home 33-17. to Penalties and three miss on fourth and short hurt very early for them. You know what? They're used to winning, and they were undefeated in the spring. It's just a heartbreaker the way they started off the season. But 
If you know Ricky Pena, you know they're going to be bouncing back. All right, well, two of tonight's trio of highlights are now in the books. Our third features another Imperial Valley League team with a lot to prove. We'll bring in the highlights of the Calexico Bulldogs season opener, opener right here on FNL. We're on a mission to connect every Arizona service member, veteran, and their families to the support and resources they deserve to make sure that there are no barriers to the benefits and services earned through service to our country. Find out how we can assist you in Arizona. Visit connectveterans.org or call 866-4AZ-VETS right now to learn more. This message is brought to you by the Arizona Coalition for Military Families, the Arizona Department of Veteran Services, and Arizona's Be Connected Partners. When it comes to internet and TV, Spectrum has the competition beat. Really? Can you keep up with all this? Yes. With faster download speeds and better performance, Spectrum is the number one choice for gamers. Switch now with the fastest internet starting speeds for the price. 100 megabits. That's enough speed to game, surf, stream, and more on all your devices. Get Spectrum Internet for $44.99 a month. Call 833-742-4499. Okay, but what about TV? It's not easy to find something that works for everyone. Spectrum TV with the free Spectrum TV app lets you watch live sports, local news, and more on your TV and on your devices. And unlike satellite, there's no ugly dish on your roof. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-742-4499. Too bad I'm in a contract. Stuck in a contract? Spectrum will buy it out up to $500. Seriously? And you won't have to sign a new one. Don't wait. Switch today. Awesome. Nice. Yes! Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-742-4499. Hurry to the Oak Tree and Moore's Customer Appreciation Sale. Everything 50% off. From our family to yours, we invite you in to see how much we've grown. Yuma's first and only Arizona's Furniture Retailer of the Year. Come to the fantastic service and the 50% off store-wide. And our bargain basement furniture outlet has discounts you can't pass up. We're proud to be locally owned and operated since 1984. As always, buy from our family with confidence. What's at stake in the September 14th recall? It's a matter of life and death. With Delta surging, Gavin Newsom is protecting California, requiring vaccination for health workers and school employees. The top Republican candidate? He peddled deadly conspiracy theories and would eliminate vaccine mandates on day one, threatening school closures and our recovery. Stop the spread. Return your ballot or vote in person by September 14th. Protect California by voting no on the Republican recall. This portion of News 11 at 10 is sponsored by Papa San Rice Bowl. You're watching Friday Night Lights, home of football from across the desert southwest. Welcome back, everyone. For what seems to be the longest time, the Calexico Bulldogs have been fighting the tough battle, getting themselves out of the Imperial Valley League basement. Like everyone else, the COVID-19 pandemic didn't do this program any favors as brand new head coach Fernando Solano took over the reins and had to endure the tough gauntlet of the recent spring season. Matters won't be any easier for the Bulldogs tonight, though, as Solano and company will open up against a Palo, Palo Verde squad that might be a force to be reckoned with this fall. And we're going to take you down to Ward Field in Calexico for the highlights. Decent crowd on hand for the dog season opener. T the team absolutely pumped. Captains from Calexico and the Yellow Jackets meeting at midfield. Here we go. Opening drive, Yellow Jackets, but it's not going to last long. It's carried to the right side. Maroon jersey swarming. The ball pops out. The Bulldogs say they have it, <laughs> and they do. Just three plays in, a big stop there. Now first play of Calexico's drive off the turnover. It's a quarterback keeper. Abram Zazueta, the senior quarterback, takes it down the sideline for a big first down, 51 yards. But their drive would end on a Palo Verde interception. One yard line, here's the Jackets taking over. Xavier Bejarano takes it up the sideline for a 30 yard gain in the first down. But the next play, it's blown up as the backfield stud linebacker Andrew Rivera. Top takes it for the three-yard loss. He's one of Coach Lano's players to watch. Later on the drive, here's Xavier Gonzalez Pinion that takes it on the handoff. Breaks a couple tackles, trucks inside for a first down, but they would be stopped on fourth down a few plays later. Here's Calexico on 18-yard line. They take it all the way down inside to uh, deep into Palo Verde's territory. And look at this play. That is a huge play. 
as he runs over the defenders. As Weta, and that's Ernesto Sanchez there, bullies the defender. Two plays later, Sanchez again on the other side, taking it for a solid gain and running over yellow, another yellow jacket. But another bull drive, bulldog drive would end early, throwing it up the sideline. Look at this play, picked off as they try to go deep up the sideline, and that's an incredible snag by Palo Verde's Landon Salazar for the interception. Jackets take over once again, and they would come in on the road. A hard-fought game, both sides, but they would win this one 15-6. So Clexco drops a tough one, but they'll look to jump back next week. All right, moving closer to the Yuma area, a final scrimmage was supposed to go down earlier tonight between the Telegraph Pass rivals. Talk about the Antelope Rams and the San Pasqual Warriors. And these two teams especially excited to get back to playing football. Um, but the Rams ravaged with multiple game cancellations last fall due to COVID and only got to play a handful of games. Meanwhile, San Pasqual didn't even get a season last year. So they had to completely shut down their athletic program. But tonight, unfortunately, due to COVID concerns and medical concerns that tie to that, obviously, they had to cancel the scrimmage. So, Cole, it looks like no matter what happens, the COVID pandemic seems to rear its head yep. from time to time, even though in many ways we've progressed, but other ways, obviously, numbers going up. You know, we've heard about that, and hopefully it doesn't, uh, you know, affect the sports landscape or the landscape in any pattern as far as, you know, overall people's health is concerned. Yeah, tough blow for them, for sure. All the other schools involved in this, and hopefully this is something we can contain, and we don't want it to break out again. Like you said, we made some progress, but we don't want to take that step back because I feel like everyone's so ready to get this full season in. We just got to do our part and hope we can get this real football season in. No, absolutely. Can't be careless. You, you, you got to wear your mask. You got to, you know, keep your social distancing and, you know, just do all the things you need to do to ensure the safety of yourself and the rest of your teammates, coaches, fans, you name it. So, yeah. you know, uh, hopefully we won't be talking about any game yeah. cancellations this fall because, quite frankly, we've done a lot of that within the last several months. For sure, Rob. But the highlights of all of tonight's action may be done, but we're just not finished yet. We got our FNL scoreboard recap, our helmet props, and of course, your Jack in the Box Play of the Week. Keep it right here on FNL. We will fight it, we'll defeat it. California, the time is near. The special election on whether to recall Governor Gavin Newsom is September 14th. If it happens, who from the Fast Choices will take California's top spot? A YouTuber, a former Olympian, or any of the dozens of candidates? News 11 and 13 on your side are teaming up to take you to the polls throughout the day and live from the recorder's office with initial results at 10 p.m. Join us as we provide complete coverage of this historic event. The biggest sale of the year is happening right now at More Furniture. You'll save on great fall looks for every room in your home, including all our newest product and our best sellers. At More's Labor Day sale, you can rest easy in the bedroom of your dreams. This solid pine canopy bed in two color options is only $7.95. Get additional storage with this rustic bed available in four color options, only $9.95. Or choose sleigh bed in multiple style and color options, just $11.95. Only at More. How do you open tough jar lids? Do you try this one? Or this one? Or how about this one? Honey! This is the future. Shouldn't there be a robot for this by now? There is. Introducing RoboTwist, the robotic jar opener that easily twists off even the toughest lids. Just set it down, press the button, and watch it work. First, the RoboStrong vise locks down tight. Then the powerful twisting action unscrews the lid. RoboTwist is yours for the special introductory price of just $19.99. That's right, the robotic jar opener that easily twists off even the toughest lids, all for just $19.99. Whether the jar is big or small, RoboTwist can open them all. Supplies are limited, so don't delay. Here's how to get yours today. Call 1-800-347-9043. That's 1-800-347-9043. Or order online at buyrobotwist.com. Inform your day right from the get-go. Wake up with sunrise. Thank you for waking up with us. Two people suffered critical injuries. The most important happenings throughout the desert southwest. And all the fun to get your day going on the right foot. Sunrise, every weekday at 6 a.m. on News 11.
watching Friday Night Lights, home of football from across the desert southwest. Welcome back. Well, in case you missed any of our highlights for tonight, allow us to get you all caught up. With our FNL scoreboard, we start with, well, our marquee matchup game, which went down to the wire. I mean, Holtville made enough plays at the end to secure that seven-point win and get off to that 1-0 start. Meanwhile, Central used to dominating, but, you know, they're having to kind of tinker with a new lineup a little bit and a new line of scrimmage as well on the defensive side. So some work for them to do indeed. And Clexco played a very tough Palo Verde team hard, but... Cole, they came up just a little short tonight. Yes, it was a definitely a tough um, matchup there. They played very well first quarter, no score. And, you know, Palo Verde is a tough team. And, it, you know, they said they were going to come in and it was going to be a tough one. But they definitely stung with them. It's a good thing they didn't lose by more than that. That's good stuff. Now we move on to the next slate of games. Brawley taking the tough one. A matter Modern day Catholic 53 to 21 after a deep, pretty good season last year. Definitely taking a blow there as we go move on to Vincent Memorial. They also taking a tough blow as they took on San Diego and lost that one 55 to 8. Hoping to bounce back from that one. That's a tough start to the season. No, absolutely. So, but knowing both those programs, we know they're going to be bouncing back here pretty quick. All right, we now come to the part of the program where Cole and myself give our helmet props to the player, players, position groups, or even teams that stood out from the rest tonight. So, Cole, the question bodes, who's getting your helmet prop? Uh, I, I, I would be remiss not to give it to Ernesto Sanchez of Calexico. I was at the game tonight, and I had to pick this one, that run that he had in the opener tonight. He put his shoulder down, trucked a Palo Verde defender, ran him over for a first down. It was by far the biggest hit. You could hear it from a mile away. Um, also played a key part with some solid runs out of the backfield for the Bulldogs as well. So congrats to Ernesto Sanchez on that one tonight. Very, very good choice. As for me, Cole, I'm a huge fan of the 1985 Chicago Bears. Kind of dating choice. myself a little bit. <laughs> and the play went down on tonight's marquee matchup game. Gave me memories of the refrigerator Perry touchdown run in the Super Bowl. Seneca Haynes used brute force, if you saw that play earlier, to get his team their first touchdown of the game. He easily got my helmet prop tonight. Yes, that's a, big, that's a big boy, and he made him feel it. <laughs> Definitely oh, yeah. a big touchdown there. Pretty cool stuff. Well, here's our first look at our week number two lineup for Friday Night Lights. Next week's quadruplet of contests are all headlined by our marquee matchup featuring Southwest and Vincent Memorial. We invite you to join Rob and myself for next week's action-packed program. We look forward to seeing you then for sure. Absolutely. Looking forward to seeing Antelope open up the season as well. All right, we end tonight's inaugural fall season program with our Jack in the Box Play of the Week. And this one comes from tonight's marquee matchup game. Seth Eichen gets the call, gets some key blocks like I mentioned earlier, and he just jams down the field. He turns on the afterburners defense, didn't have a chance getting them, takes it to the end zone on a 60-yard scoring play. And that really got the momentum going for the Vikings in this game. I mean, it was an offensive game through and through. Both teams had their chances and made some plays on that side of the ball. But in the end, Hopeville just got off to that quick start, and that really contributed to them doing work tonight. Yeah, I wish that was a matchup we got to see again. But unfortunately, they only get to play once mm -hmm. a year, so that would definitely be a good one. But, man, nice block there. We forget the block right there. Uh, create some space and he just puts those jets on great play right there absolutely like we've been preaching before in previous Friday night like episodes in years past you gotta block because blocks make everything work and if you can do that you can create a magical play like that huge hole you could drive a Mack truck through that thing great job by the wing back there to spread them out and yeah that leads to a touchdown that's how you do that's how you do it all right well that's gonna do it for us tonight we are glad you can join us for week one we got week two next week. Folks, have a great weekend.